Applebee's we're actually at a bus stop starting this video and I feel a bit like a ninny. Do you feel a bit like a ninny talking to the camera in a bus stop? Anyway, we are off to um, a hospital appointment to go and see the preterm doctor to go and have a look, make sure everything's going well with baby. And my mum couldn't watch the girls today so they're all come with me and we've got Dylan too. Who's excited? Me. So excited. We just ran into Tesco's to get some snacks quickly so they're all eating pan of chocolates and I've got crisps and I've got drinks and I've got a bit of everything. But it's going to be good. We've just got to wait for our bus. Hopefully it will be here soon. Because it is starting to look a bit pretty, pretty miserable out here, isn't it? And then it does look bad. It looks like it's bad rain, yeah. Um, and there's loads and loads of traffic as well, so I really want to just get on the bus and get there to be fair. <laughs> if you can see the look I'm getting right here, Kev. What are you doing? What's going on? Are you on the bus? You're on the bus. It's a special bus, it's a double decker one. Hey, it's got a top and a bottom. He's in. What song do you sing when you're on the bus, Chloe? <laughs> we do it every time. It's going to be a long bus ride though. <laughs> I know you get to relax. We're going to be on here for a, for a minute or so. <laughs> Girls will pretend that they're driving the bus. It's exactly what I used to do when I was little. I used to pretend I was driving the bus. He's playing with the slime. Madison, and she must enjoy the bus rides. She's like out, out. Yeah, she's enjoying it. This is like gone upstairs. He's sat right there. He can't hear me though. He's having fun. He's, he's pretending he's driving the bus right up the top. <laughs> right, we just got to wait for Dad coming up in the lift because <laughs> we didn't all fit. But you guys are going to sit out here. Bella, you're coming with me. Yeah. <laughs> You have to leave the bag here. You can't come with, I'm afraid. Only one. Which one will he come out of, do you think? No. This one's coming out, so it must be this one. Say, come on, Dad. See, it's not will it be Dad or will it be someone else? <gasps> it's Dad. Hi. Hi. Uh, are you two cheeky monsters? Darcy's like, I am, and I'm not ashamed of it. Dylan's going to sleep, is he? We just got to wait for mommy's medicine and then we can go. A baby's fine. Oh, has Bella told anybody yet? Have you told anybody yet? Oh, Bella got to see the baby, didn't you? They did a scan, she got to see the baby, but he's kind of gutted. They're like, oh no, what are you doing? I didn't see the light. You, are you doing it to see the lights? <laughs> she lost a ploy, isn't it? We are all done in the hospital. You ready to go home? You going on the bus? She's like, no, I'm going to walk home. She said to me she's going to walk home. How are you going to walk home? How are you going to walk home? It's going to be a really long walk. We're going on a bus. Yeah, on a bus, bus, bus. <laughs> As you can tell, they're bored waiting for the bus. <laughs> how, how long have we got left? How long have we got left before the bus comes? Uh, that long. <laughs> no, it's 13.51 the bus comes. And it's 13.35. No, 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 the one we're getting is 13.51. But... It's 13.35, so we've got ages to wait, yeah. <laughs> you are so bored, didn't you? <laughs> lost the We've just, when we made it home, we've just popped into... Tesco's to grab some bits for tomorrow, haven't we? Some yeah. bits for lunches tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, we did a mad rush here. She's in the bathroom. <laughs> she is in the bathroom. We did a mad rush to bathroom. I know there's a huge spider in there, isn't there? He was like, he was, on, he was on the wall, and he was like, I'm going to eat you. 
He had his armchair and his cigar and everything, didn't he? <laughs> Hi. So, we're back home. We have been for like quite a while now, actually. The kids have just had some dinner. We just wanted to take a minute and just chill because I feel like we've been really busy lately. And I'm exhausted, and so is Kevin. <laughs> we just want to go like that. Is that allowed? Probably not. Anyway, so I went to my appointment, as you saw, and I saw the preterm doctor again. And today he did a cervical length check. We did a scan to check that, and he said that anything that is under the measurement of 25 would be considered something that needs intervention um but luckily mine was at 34 so that's really good which means i don't need anything done i don't need any stitches or anything like that um so it was a, all in all a really good appointment the kids are going crackers you, they're so loud um but it was all good it was a good appointment apart from my eye levels are really like that so he's give me some hold on sweetie I know I've got some dinner. Um, he's given me some iron tablets to take daily. <laughs> mom, mom, hold on, hold on a sec. It's all gone a bit mad. It's all gone a bit mad. But yeah, that's all good. So, but he, he decided that he wasn't going to put me on. Is it called cyclogest? I don't know. It's progesterone. He decided he wasn't going to put me on it. Um, for my cervical length because everything was okay but then we had a really long chat and about um what happened with jackson's pregnancy and when we lost him and in the end we came to the conclusion that we were gonna have the progesterone up until 28 weeks just for more of a peace of mind thing you know because what it does is it toughens up the mucus plug i apologize if you're not into this whole pregnancy thing and it grosses you out Pregnancy is kind of intimate for women. It is. There's no dignity. There isn't. There's just not. You can't have. You can't hold on to your dignity when you're pregnant because you just got to get stuff done. You got to get it done. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, the progesterone is to thicken. It thickens the um, mucus plug. So, there's, you know, it kind of prevents any water breaking or your cervix. I don't know getting shorter I suppose I don't know um, but we had a really long discussion about it anyway and we decided that I was going to have that up into 28 weeks more for peace of mind rather than <sighs> such a medical need it was really long winded um, my iron was low like I say so he's put me on some iron tablets just to kind of give that a bit of a boost but all in all he was pretty happy and we got to see baby again as well he did an, a a other scan because obviously cervical scans are transvaginal is that how you say it transvaginal i don't know um and then obviously he did a normal tummy scan and had a look at baby and we heard baby's heartbeat and it was just it was really nice it was really nice but then tomorrow i get to go back and see the diabetic nurse not the diabetic nurse what is she she's a midwife that's what she is a diabetic midwife and then we talk about insulin because they want me to take insulin on a night time just to kind of um monitor what my sugar levels because my fasting sugar levels are just over borderline um so i'm not metabolizing the sugars correctly so she wants me to do that and then she's going to teach me all the ins and outs of diabetes which is it's frustrating because i know about diabetes already because i've been looking after my mum for a long time but i don't want to be rude if that makes sense i don't want to be rude to them be like oh well i already know so why are we here i don't want to waste their time either but i feel like it's just you know i feel like maybe i should go and listen anyway because things have probably changed a lot so yeah i've got that so that's like a couple of hours that i'm going to be in the hospital again tomorrow tomorrow are you coming with me uh huh. You're so tired, and you. We're all going. <laughs> uh, hopefully everything will run smoothly. Um, you're eating your food. Oh, you eat your dinner, so now you get your piece of birthday cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they haven't Lily's leftover birthday cake off yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's what happened today. It was a bit chaotic. 
you can eat your cake now yes they were um running behind schedule again so i literally it was an hour after my time slot or uh, well, the time of my appointment that i actually got seen but in all fairness they did have an emergency mm. in the clinic i don't know what went on but something went on and i all I can say is I, I hope that the person vegetables. that was involved I is okay. You ate your vegetables and you ate all my blueberries as well. I've but seen you. I can't get this. I don't know what you said. I got this burger to this all here. But burgers? burgers? We're always talking about burgers, Harper. <coughs> Do you like burgers? Mm. <laughs> See, I love a good burger. Put that away. You don't know where it's been. <laughs> But yeah, it was all in all a good trip. The kids were the best behaved that they could be. It was like, but what, three we, hours of sitting waiting for mum to be seen to. Have a shopping. <laughs> You're having such a conversation. I have, love you. I have shopping. Today. I love you. Oh yeah, we went to the shop, didn't you? Yeah, we go to the daddy. Daddy kept uh, all the other girls and Dylan with him. And me, Harper and Darcy went to the shop and got some chocolate. <laughs> and where's the chocolate bunny gone? I eat it. You eat it? Is it in your tummy? Yeah. Oh, is it yummy? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what happened. Mm. And now we're all kind of ready for bed. I've got so much cleaning up to do. My living room looks like somebody picked it up, shook it up, put it back down again. So we've got to clean that up and we've got to get everything Mommy, ready for the morning because Mommy I was not. My little apple bader. This is a I don't know what you're saying. It says baiters come sit down there here. Go here. Oh, the elevator. Is that what you're saying? The elevator? Why do I look like I'm bald? I've got... Oh, no. She's teething so bad. I know. She's okay. I think she's just banged her top tooth. She, she's got two teeth um, at the top that are literally about to break through. She keeps doing this dramatic cry and then looking at me like, well, why haven't you picked me up yet? Yeah. And I'm trying to be strong and not pick her up so much. Um, it's not working. It's not. She's too cute. Um, but what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, no, their behaviour was really good. It was, for, for what, how long we were in there and how boring it was for them, they were pretty good. But you're always pinning the bum anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this video here because there's not much more to say. And Harper is screaming for me. And not Harper. Your Harper. That's Maddie. Names. I'm going to make you wear name tags. Or I'm just going to write it across your forehead. I'm going to be like, Chloe. Or could the, no, it would no. go that way, wouldn't it? Chloe. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry. It was a bit of a short, choppy one, actually, because we've been so busy. Anyway, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Say bye for now. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.